Hey, hey friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Gina, if you're brand new here. I am the creative here on YouTube behind Crate and Daydream. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a layout that I've done in my Faith Art Journal. And what I thought I would do is just kind of walk you through various products that I pulled from the Preparing Hearts Kit for Illustrated Faith, along with some print and pray from the Illustrated Faith print and pray shop. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about week one of the devotional Preparing Hearts written by my friend Becky Baker because her words just got me in the heart. Ooh, so good. So that's something that you wanna see. Hang on in here, let's get started, but first. Okay, so I am like two years, just over two years into this channel. I think it's two years. And I still love that little catchy intro. I've tried to change it. I'm pretty sure that's the first song that I used. It was free and I thought, oh, that's kind of catchy and fun. I'm still dancing to it to this day. So <laughs> just thought I would share that with you. Okay, so I am jumping into my Delusions Multi-Print Ledger Square Journal. The reason that I say that in full is because y'all, I have been looking for this journal because it has the print in it. It has graph paper, has two different types of ledgers. I like this because I like to write just with a pen straight into my journal. As you can see right there, this is a year of practicing my handwriting. Yes, I have nice handwriting, but if you don't practice that, it's gonna go away. So lo and behold, y'all will never believe where I found this journal. It's on scrapbook.com. Like. Ranger Inc. doesn't have them. Uh, Dana Wakely doesn't have them, but scrapbook.com has them. I would say they're a little pricey, but here's the thing is I use mine all year long. So I'm going to link that below. And this is the layout that I'm talking about today. We are jumping into preparing hearts. Um, super excited about this. Okay, so Becky Baker is the writer of this devotional and Becky, whew, she has a massive impact on my life. I don't even really know how else to say it. I've never met her in person. We've exchanged messages. We're both on the Illustrated Faith creative team, um, but I haven't met her in person. I can't wait to because her story is so profound and her grace and the faith that she has is just beyond anything that I know from anybody else. Um, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit more, but jumping on my page here. So what I decided to do was I went and printed out some pieces from the devotional. You have the option to do this, uh, in the print and pray shop for illustrated faith. The things that I printed out were the hand with the butterfly on it, what we were supposed to read with the verses. And then these are Becky's words from the first week of the devotional. And they're so incredibly powerful. She is talking about someone that she loves that has passed away. It's her husband. And here's a little snippet of what she says. She says, in that moment, it wasn't the easiest to just stop what fear and sadness I was feeling. But I remember just praying, turning to anxiety wasn't going to help me in that moment. The one person I had always turned to was now gone in his last words to me. God is here. God is in control. <sighs> Whew. If that does not just, uh, oh gosh, it gets me emotional every single time. I have lots of like, oof, it just gets me. I just, it's very powerful. She is a very powerful human being. She is a very strong human being. I love her so much. And again, I've never met her. Like you can love people so much that you've never met. Okay, so let's jump into what's on this page, how I laid it out, etc. <laughs> Just so I do have a process video of something like this. I will make more process videos of this, but this one was like, I don't know, it wasn't my story, but it was very personal. So anyways, I like to figure out what I'm going to put down. So I knew I wanted to put down this print and pray stuff. So behind it, I'm starting off with paint, the Craft Smart and Deco Art. Uh, one is called, Deco Art is called Vivid Violet and the Craft Smart was Fuchsia. The Shimmer Fuchsia was the old Target paint. And then my yellow is Satin Goldenrod. That's the old target paint and the new target paint is called curious goldfish satin finish <laughs> it's an interesting name um and then i always just kind of bring in a little bit of gesso uh 
that's where you can kind of see if there's lighter colors. I have gesso mixed in there because it just, it takes your paint a little bit farther in my opinion. Plus if I need to whiten, like, you know, lighten anything up, I can put that in as well. And here's the perfect example. So under God is here, what I did was I printed out the copy of the prayer that is in the kit as a rub on. So this came in the kit. It is called Amen Prayer Rub-On. Um, so you could use it as a rub-on as I did in one of these. And then uh, there's a full one. So I knew I had, I always pick up an extra one. It's also available in our print and pray shop. So I printed it out and that's how I used it. So that's kind of hidden behind there. Parts of it and I use parts of it somewhere else. So um, just always remember if you like something, if something's super popular, there's a good chance Shauna probably put it over in our print and pray shop. If it's something that can, you know, easily be formatted. Um, I don't know how that works, but you know what I'm saying. So that is the amen prayer. And then the next thing I added, if you've been watching my channel, you know, I am loving Mod Podge so much. So, oh, I went down the rabbit hole of Mod Podge and I bought some Tim Holtz ideology collage paper. This set is typeset composer. And oh goodness, I love it. So collage paper, at least this piece, if you're not familiar with it, it's like tissue paper, but it has a little bit of a shine to it. I loved this because it has the bold alpha and bold numbers. And I always like to bring in some black and white into pretty much everything I'm doing, especially if it's mixed media. So um, I looked around, Tim Holtz has a bunch of these. I'm sure I'm way behind, you know, finding out about it. Obviously I am because mixed media has been around a long time, but I will share it below if it's still available. I've already picked up some more, so it's on its way. <laughs> I can't help it. I do. Like I said, I love it so much and look, see, it just brings a nice accent. So I just kind of put it on the sides. I didn't want it to be the focal point, but I did want it to be a little bit substantial so it would stand out. So I got a few little spots in there and I love it. And then, um, I don't know if I explained this, but after the painting, that's when I brought in Becky's words and I literally cut each apart, cut every paragraph apart and I lay it down to how I want it to fit on the page um because I can still read it and if someone comes along and they want to read it they can read it as well so next up I took Vanessa Walker stencil this is X's and O's and I was using a white paint pen my white paint pen was seeping through the bottom which was my own fault so what I did was I just used the white paint paint pen I marked it and then I came in and I just drew over them with a white paint pen. And the stencil was useful because I like things in a straight line as much as possible. Um, so, you know, you just gotta work with what happens. It's mixed media for a reason. Next up is the stamp in this kit. And this was called Preparing My Heart Stamp. What I used off of this was, there's a little saying saying Preparing My Heart. There is Loved. So I have those just kind of stamped out in various spots. I brought in the cross. Um, as you can see, it's around the reed and kind of just, you know, extra spots up in that area. Then I also use the little leaves and I only use the leaves like three times because I knew I wanted to come in with some Vanessa Walker florals, um, which I'll talk about here in a minute. The next thing is I stink and love this masking tape. So Shauna, I believe... I don't know if these were for sale or she just gave these out if you purchased your kit early, but I really love this masking tape. Um, it's called To The Moon. Actually, let me double check. It is in the, it's in the shop. So it's called To The Moon. Um, I did a my next layout, which maybe you saw a peek of it. I used it on one full page as a background. I just, I love it so much. And then I pulled the three washies that came from the last drop. Um, the purple is called Lilac. The script is called Dear Father, and I love the script. And the pink and white one is called Hearts Aligned. And then I have a black heart one that I believe is in the shop as well. And as I know it's Illustrated Faith, if it's not in the shop or if it is in the shop, I will put the name of it below. Um, when I used the pink one, I it wasn't bold enough. So that's the reason I brought in the black on top of it. I just, again, I like black and white. And what's interesting is I was listening to Becca, Becca, Becky talk about, we have three Beccas, like Becky Beccas on our team. So <laughs> get confusing. Um, Becky was talking about like her inspiration for this. And it was like Nashville and like country and my page 
page is nothing like this. So that's the reason I like being able to go into a journal like this because I'll do a mixed media page that is my thoughts and my ideas. And then I can also do something based off of like the ephemera of the kit. So here are the pins that I use. That is a black Posca pin. Um, I had to write out God is here because just, I will never forget what she says there. Like how she said, that's the last thing that her husband said is God is here. God is in control. So I wrote that out underneath of it. Um, I wrote it again. So I doubled it. God is here. God is in control. And then I wrote, I will always remember these words by Becky. Um, then I'll take a Tombow marker. It's a food and sake and where you see light, black writing that is the food and sake you just got to be really careful with it because it will bleed the paint pen markers are great they're not going to bleed but those food and sakis if you look up here at the far right side I have your and I smeared it because I think I brought in some more yellow paint so I had to write on top of that so just be careful with your pins try to take like I was going to say taste test them try to test them somewhere or just remember that this is mixed media and you can cover it up if you want to which is a great thing it's the main reason I love mixed media because I'm a recovering perfectionist and mixed media does not allow for perfection so there you go um that is the ink pad that I use it stays on that's because it stays on and it dries super fast so I love it um here are the crosses I bought I got this from Shauna and then I'm pretty sure I bought three more and I'm probably gonna end up buying more so these are vellum crosses they're called cross marks over there on the right I used some green over there on the left I used some pink and then the smaller white print which is my handwriting what I used for that was I initially was going to try to use my gel pen but a gel pen does not take to Mod Podge so a lot of this I Mod Podged over before I came in and wrote and I like that because it lays everything flat so I I took a Sharpie fine print uh, white paint pen and that's where you're looking and seeing um, the white. So it's not this Molotov pen. Uh, I like this pen for big writing, but the smaller end gets really murky and like, I don't know, it just, it's not good. So I would get a white fine print or fine, uh, fine print, <laughs> fine paint pen um okay so last but not least I think I'm at last but not least I the florals on the edges those are Vanessa Walker's I want to say they're yes and amen florals they're beautiful I'm using them on all my layouts here's a quick little look at my layout where I used the to the moon and back masking tape uh I did a reel of that layout over on my Instagram that is at crane and daydream and here's a close-up because I feel like there's a little bit of a glare weird lighting right now so y'all this wraps up my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. God loves you. I love you. I'll see you hopefully very soon. Bless up, my friends. Bless up.